Hello, it's me again. I am going to go over how to convert tattoos or skin details from The Sims 4 to The Sims 2. Go ahead and download from Polluting's Tumblr the tattooer. It will have templates available that are, like it says in the picture, ready to bake textures from The Sims 4 to The Sims 2. They do give a concise and clear tutorial. I do use their templates, which is what we're going to be using today. Besides these, you will need Blender 3.4. There's a link in the description. You will need some type of photo editing program, one that you're familiar with. In my case, I'll be using GIMP. So let's go ahead and open up the AF Body 4-2 uh, 2048 blend. Here you have your Sims 4 body and your Sims 2 body basically uh, intertwined and connected. Sorry guys, it's been a minute um, because I have my own kind of already set up. So you're going to come over here and you're going to click shader editor. So you should show this. And then over in the corner, if you can see my mouse, over in the corner, you should get crosshairs. We're going to drag that over and drag it up just a little bit. And then we're going to change this section into image editor. So now up here in the outliner, you're going to click on your Sims 4 body. And now in your shader editor, click on the principled BSDF, right click on it and delete. And we are going to add shader, mix shader. Go ahead and split these up just a little bit. There we go. And then add shader diffuse. Put that right up there. Add shader transparent. All right, so now we're going to link these up because right now nothing's linked. So color is going to go to color. Alpha is going to go to Mix Shader, the top node. Transparent BSDF, the green, is going to go to the top shader of Mix Shader. And Diffuse BSDF, it's going to go to the bottom shader. Mix Shader is going to connect to Surface of Material Output. Next thing we're going to do is go to Open. We're going to go to La Vie en Rose. Click on the camera right here. It will be Render Properties. Um, Polluting has it basically set up. I'm going to change the size of the margin from 16 to 4. And then it'll kind of tighten up on the um, tattoo. While you have The Sims 4 body selected, you're going to hold down Control and left mouse button click on the TS2 body. You will want the TS4 body to have the dark orange color on it. That lets you know that it's active. And press bake. And then you're going to wait down here for this to bake completely. And once it's baked, you'll see that it goes from the Sims 4 1024 by 2048 with the arms on one side and the body on another. You'll see now that it is mapped to a Sims 2 body. Go to image. Save as, but you can save it as a new image or save it right over it. And that's it, you're done. So I'm a little dumb, I almost ended the video, but once you have um, exported it and saved as, um, if you use the 2048 version, that means your files are gonna be twice as big. And what we need to go ahead and do, you can do this from any kind of photo editor. I'm gonna go ahead and open and what we need to do is scale the image down to 1024 by 1024. As well, if you're like me and uh, you like to pick and choose your tattoos um, for, for your Sims, uh, you can go ahead and kind of split them off. Extract, create a new layer, okay. Put the new layer on there so now you have leg tattoos. And then over here is your right arm. So clicking back onto the main, you can cut using Control X, make a new layer, okay. And then plop that down. And just keep doing that until 
you have individual tattoos, then you can export. At this point, if you want, you can make them into a skin detail slash tattoo overlay box. There is a tutorial up and available for you. And uh, I will see you next time. I don't know when I'm going to get the itch to make more tutorial videos. This took up most of my creative time. <laughs> um, if you watch the uh, tattoo video, you'll, you'll get it. Anyway, okay, bye. Have a great day.